Hello my friends, welcome back to Heart of the Swarm Nightmare Edition. We are going to the magical, magical world of I don't remember the name of this mission because it's super generic. Uh, at the end of last time, we decided to get a couple things. I think Zergling Reconstitution is good, Twin Drones is going to be good, Kinetic Blast, make sure that we have the Zergling upgrades that I want. Yeah, Adrenal seems like it'll be good. And then head on over here for Corruptor Aspect. And I'm going to grab some Splash Radius on the Banelings. So, Phantoms of the Void, that's what this one is called. I don't care about anything else because I have my plan and I'm going to stick to it until it doesn't work. <laughs> and that is, I was thinking about uh, what happened on Char. The first mission of Char was really hard, and part of the reason Rhyme gave justification is that is the final Zerg versus Zerg you play. Well... <laughs> This is the final Zerg versus Protoss that we play, so I'm expecting to die. <laughs> and as a result, I have decided to think about what do actual good... Oh. Units in Dark Swarm take almost no damage from ranged attacks. Oh. The Reaver casts Dark Swarm. Interesting. Well, that works with what I was going to say. Now... Dark Swarm definitely play a roundable if we really, really wanted to. However, I think that we're going to play into the Ultra idea. I was thinking about various Zerg players that I like, and one of my favorite Zerg players to watch is Dark, because he just plays a little bit differently. And Dark is a big fan of, first of all, Ultras in ZVP, and he makes it work very well. He also makes Corruptors in large number work. He go like, Corruptor Ling, he does a lot of Queens. However, I don't think that Queens are necessarily going to be great here because we have Stukov. Stukov is going to be able to provide a bit of a healing aura to kind of help out there. And hopefully that'll just be enough. Let's try to take his base. That is, that is a Vanguard. Oh. Oh god, no, we didn't make it! <laughs> it's all the room. <laughs> well, that's tough. That's going to be fun. I still think that I'm going to give the Zergling, Baneling, Ultralisk, Corruptor. Hey, 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 hey. I'm hatching here. You can't do that. So, we're, yeah, we're going to give that a nice old college try. I'm going to get a couple queens to spread the creep. I do not have Malignant Creep, which is obviously kind of lame, and it's going to mean that I am significantly worse off than I could have been in some ways, because being able to fight these people on the creep would be very nice. But I'm still going to try my best to spread it and do what I can to chip away at the enemy. Do stuff like that. Oh, I thought he was going to come attack me. Oh, hello. Creep, still amazing. And we can just surround here. Gotta be careful. If you surround Ultralisk with Zerglings, it's actually pretty good. They die quite fast. And that is why we're going to focus on a decent number of upgrades and melee units and all that kind of stuff first, and then transition into the Spire attack. Let's get Kerrigan a level. Oh, these guys warp in fast. Look at that. That was very rapid. All right, we have the double drones going, so we're going to be able to get an economy real, real fast. Ultra's primary and splash damage, plus three. Hmm. All righty. Seems good to plus me. Uh, one thing I'm noticing is that the energy regeneration of Stukov far, far low. Actually, no. In the base game, Stukov doesn't have an energy regeneration rate because he doesn't have energy, does he? So that is one of the limiting factors on Alexi. Interesting. Now we're going to have to spawn some creep tumors, just get all these gases uh, geysering. And preferably saturate this base before we actually move in. Here we go. Ah, no, 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 we didn't replace that guy. There was an Archon down here that we killed. So it didn't get replaced. We got to keep this creep going. It's going to be so important. They are bringing a lot of probes. Can we, can we just chill for a moment? That's all the room. Gonna start cannon rushing me soon. 
My supply is actually doing pretty decently. Double drones is helping me build that economy very quick. I still have quite a bit until I am really, really stressed about stuff. Yeah, that is saturation. Let's just build five more sets. And we're good to go. Now, are there going to be extra bases on this map? That is one thing that is worth... My goodness, there's so many of them. This is... <laughs> Exactly what I thought was going to happen. Which is why we want to have a lot of Ultralisks. Ooh, they got a Havoc. Not for long. Oh, that's good, Double Spire. Double Corruptor upgrades, always good. Uh, Sky Toss is very, very fast attacking. So we want to have a good number of armor upgrades in order to contest that. That's uh, opposed to, say, Zerg. Actually, I guess all air really does attack pretty fast in StarCraft 2, so it's uh, more vulnerable to armor stuff. Because if you think about it, the Mutalisk has the bounce, the Battlecruiser is a machine gun, and then the Carrier and the Void Ray and the Phoenix are machine guns. The Viking fires twice with its missiles. Interesting. I never really thought about that for everybody in the air before. I do think that... Protoss is the most vulnerable to it, but it's definitely true for everybody to some extent. Now, we're going to have to claim this temple soon. We got the Ultras in the front, and it is time to go, go, go. I believe that the entire thing stops when Stukov is on it. Like, the little line doesn't go down, so we can kind of wait a little bit in times like this. Go. Stukov. Stukov. I can't hold much longer. And here we go. Hopefully the Zerglings are going to be able to deal with a lot of these smaller threats very, very quickly. They do tons of damage and they're pretty cheap. Oh, look at that. He's low on energy. And now he's low on life. I'm gonna need a couple more hatches, aren't I? Oh, what's going on here? We're getting memed! <laughs> that's amazing! Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Havocs don't even have an attack! Shit, that's so good! <laughs> okay, we're gonna build some static defense. <laughs> Ryan was such a troll. <laughs> That has to be, like, the drops were too punishing, so I decided to do that instead. That's so amazing. Oh, okay, we're going to heal up for a bit and get our Corrupter. Either that or it's one of those, hey, you're going to get dropped little warning signs for later, which I would not be surprised about. Big attack wave incoming on this side. We can deal. Absolutely. Fire the blob onto the Archon and then take him down. He's the biggest damaging guy. <laughs> that guy should have just killed Kerrigan. He could have saved the Taldorim. Oh. I'm going to clean up this area. It's kind of just a pain for rallying later, so we might as well secure it. We could actually... Take the time to grab the bonuses while we're over here. It would allow me to push the creep farther. And get a bonus or two while I'm there. Like, you know, a... Not literal bonus, but figurative bonus. What we got? Carapace, Carapace. We have access to 3-3. Three, 3-3 three. Three, three is going to be real nice. Oh, the Dark Templar. Oh gosh, there's a lot of stuff coming in a lot of different places, huh? Oh goodness, and we don't have creep! Spread it! Okay, we have... We have stuff over here. We've taken that down. We can just keep the creep going. Ah, uh, they brought like one observer with a zealot. That's so rude! Couple ultras on the way. Yeah, okay, they brought two observers with a zealot. 
<laughs> Keep the creep going. Tumor, tumor. Uh, we might as well clear this area out if we're over here. And I think that it's time to grab a Baneling Fest. Yeah, okay, this is gonna hurt. Where, where, <laughs> where'd the Vanguard go? Oh gosh, he has a brother. No, Got him, got him. Okay, we have overseers following all of this. We can get Stukov onto the point. Keep spreading some of this backup creep. Don't kill it, please. No, no, no. Yeah, lose. Oh, no! <laughs> Those drops are amazing. How funny is that? That's super creative. Okay, um... Grab these. Holy crap, I'm getting owned. Where's the corruptors? I need happiness. Uh, corruptors coming on in. Stukov. Fighting to win. I think it's this guy. Back ruining my days. Well, Broodlords would be really good on this mission. Oh my gosh, there's another hybrid. Okay, Zergles, get him. One, two, three. Oh, dude. I lost that real bad. They killed all the Ultras. Pull these back. It does look like that hybrid does have 3,000 HP. Okay. That's a bit. Are we dead? Yeah, this is looking like death to me. It is my destiny. Hmm. That is real hardcore. Stukov might be able to get to the temple in time. I will do my best to get him there. I'm gonna bring everything, but yeah, look at how close that is to Kerrigan. I should have gotten these extra hatches so I would have had the larva. Okay, Stukov, you need to run to the point. Everybody else is gonna go over here. I don't think Zerglings are viable here. Just looking at this? Oh. So we're getting... Yeah, this is Sky Toss. I knew there was going to be Sky Toss. Let's, uh... Let's check something before we die. Or after we die. Either is fine. 77 kills on this hybrid. Hmm. He does appear to be very strong. He doesn't do a lot of single target damage. Oh, Kerrigan died. But he does big AoE. All right, let's load the last checkpoint and see if we can salvage the situation instead of having to... Instead of having to do a full reset, I think that I might know what would be good. First of all, Zergling's not the answer. Let's uh, put this guy over here. I think Corruptors are good. This is the big attack on this side. Uh, they have Creep here, so we're not going to be able to burrow ambush or anything. Get behind, take down the Archon as before, and no more Zerglings. That is the first rule of fighting the Taldorim. Turns out they hard counter those suckers. Second rule of fighting the Taldorim is pretty clear of those areas. Third rule is get that hatch down, Grant. We need it. Now, let's make... A couple aberrations to see what they're doing stats-wise. They might actually do more DPS per dollar than the Ultra, at which point Ultralisk aberration might actually be a composition. They're going to kind of get in each other's way a little bit, but that's not the end of the world. Oh yeah, this Corruptor Morph is very cheap because it just brings it to the cost of the normal Corruptor. For some reason, I was thinking it cost gas to do. Okay, Vanguard is out. Take these down. Not a whole lot over here that I have to be worried about. Here comes the drop. Let's get a spore over th there, and we can just kill this drop. 
Cool. A big attack coming on this side now. All right, aberrations, get on over. So aberrations do 36 damage, 53 versus armored, versus 34. 1.2 attack speed versus one. So I'm saying that against these armored targets, which I believe that that hybrid is armored, we actually want to have a selection of both. Having a bit of the AoE, having a bit of the single target. Seems like a plan to me. Don't know if it's a good plan. But that is for future generations to figure out. Give this a go. The enemies warp in very quickly here. Normally they take full slow warp in cycles and you can just kill the majority of them without any issues. All right, let's see how this goes. This guy is armored, so I think that we're gonna do a lot of damage. Yeah, much better. Good combo. Here comes the second one. And it is fine. He's real tanky. But we have the tools that we need. Save Stukov. Corruptors. And 3-3 three, three is on the way. That's going to be a big help. I have a lot of Corruptors, so I'm ready for the Sky Toss as it comes. And Stukov's taken down a temple. The second temple has fallen. So let's get Creep Tumor, Creep Tumor. I kind of want to clear this area, but not actually start the temple. Maybe, nah, but I want to go for those bonuses. Oh, there's so much that I would like to do. Well, I want to... I'm not in disarray. You're in disarray. Why would you say something like that about me? I'm doing fine. Durian. Yes, I see Let's get an upgrade on the Corruptors. Are they striking the Hive with... No, they're just... The strike the Hive is the one Zealot timing. Oh, he's getting a friend. What is happening here? I gotta build one to protect damaged Spine Boy, but... Oh, oh, oh. This is the attack wave that eventually killed me last time. However, I was already dead at that point. Yup. This is Corruptors. I need some more Ultras to fold in. We are continuing... Okay. There is definitely some sort of gateway over there that is just causing the conga line. Get some more Zerglings. The Zerglings are very useful in a lot of fights, but they're not good against the hybrid. So I need to keep that in mind when I'm building stuff. Also, my mineral fields are starting to run out. So I'm going to have to find a base at some point. Uh, that is not a creep tumor. I'll try to clear the mid. What do I want to... What do I want to do? Let's get Flyer Carapace level 3. Oh, Colossus are a good target. I left these guys way far behind. That was just bad play. Take that down. I, I know that Zerg players don't like Corruptors. I actually think they're pretty good. Like, they have a lot of stats, and they just do not die. Let's uh, do a little bit of micro over there. One of these guys back and forth, and... Keep looking for a base. Now, the Taldorim have bases. Maybe that's what I want to fight. You know? Like, they just have legitimate bases. If I need money, I need money. I'll do anything for a little bit of cash. Don't, don't take that out of context. I'll make gaming videos for a little bit of cash. Ultra's primary and splash damage plus three, okay. So they start off nerfed, and then they get buffed to their baseline level over time. I think that's how it's working. A little bit 
of an attack over here. Corruptors come on over to help. I just built some overlords. Don't know why. I guess I'll make some overseers. Follow this around. And then Kerrigan is almost dead, so I guess we're starting this one. Hope it's not too hard. This could be a tough one. Oh, no, no. Uh, vanguards. They are definitely vanguarding. That van is very safe today. They are relentless against my creep. They hate it. Okay, the hybrid is down. Now we can move over here. Slap him sideways. We're going to have to retake this entire area. But not yet. Still a lot of stuff coming. I might do this one last. Simply because it's kind of easy to defend relatively. Maybe. Oh, oh, no! My spore! No, they're actual DTs! Like, played by a good player! No! Uh, how could you? Oh, my detection! Damn it! We got it, we got it. It's fine. Okay. I take this down. Completely lost this area. Get these on over. I'm gonna... I don't have Bane Nest. I'm gonna Baneify them. Corruptors come on in. We have so much armor, these destroyers don't do anything. I mean, they're destroyers. <laughs> We're fighting destroyers, so these destroyers don't do anything is really the correct way to say that. <sighs> this is out of money. That's out of money. We are time limited. This probe's coming in. Send the aberrations onto the hybrid. The ultras deal with everything else very cleanly. That is quite a lot of 1 HP vanguards. <laughs> what happened to these guys? This is the final one. Pop this over here. Oh gosh, pull back. Take down the air units. I have no money. I'm dead. I'm I'm gonna have to see if there's a base that I missed. Or if I truly have to bust one of these guys. Because there's no way that I can do this with a, without the money. Oh, Stukov doesn't have Burrow anymore. That makes sense. I can feel your strength leaving you. Did we do it? I mean we did four or five. Let's keep trying. I don't have a base. Oh. Here comes the Havoc Drops. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. These are 3-3-3 three, three, three carriers. And honestly, Corruptor's doing pretty good. The Archons are truly something to behold, aren't they? What if the answer is Lurkers? What about Lurker, Corruptor, Overseer as a composition? Uh, wait a moment. How does... Now, how does Lurker work with Dark Swarm? Because that's what the enemy has, right? I believe that in the base game, Dark Swarm... Do, like, StarCraft 1, Dark Swarm does not work on Lurker spines. But I don't know about here. Let's move over. They have the cloak upgrade for their Havocs. <laughs> Reinforcements now! <laughs> that's so good. Oh, that's so funny. Let's, uh, let's go check this area. I mean, yeah, it seems like Ryan wants us to take that base. We have vision of it. And they keep sending attacks. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. I actually have quite a bit of time. 
We can probably go to like the 30-ish minute mark here. It's just I don't have the ability to go to the 30-ish minute mark when it comes to money with this. But a third base would really help. And then this base, when it's on its own, would definitely be killable. What I'm feeling is that the actual attacks here are so friggin' strong that we have to rid ourselves of the enemy first. Thank you for the tutorial rhyme. I appreciate it. <laughs> I know that's in the base game, but I like that it's left in. So I'm just looking at stuff. Uh, this is no extra damage, but 52 per shot is pretty darn high. <laughs> Tempest, uh, we got the good version here. There's quite a few versions of campaign Tempests. This is, this is one of them. A very painful one of them. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is not a save that is going to be successful. I'm going to go back to 14-ish minutes, and we're going to check where we are with this save. And see if we can bust in and take down that Taldrin base. The second temple has fallen. This seems good. Squirm all you like. We have... You will not escape your fate. We have a bunch of corruptors. We have a pretty darn big army. 3-3 three, three on the way. Oh yeah, we got a bunch of zealots coming one by one. Well, they were two by two this time. And everything in my control groups. I just made a bunch of aberrations. I didn't. I wanted to get some more ultras. That was a mistake. Get a couple overseers. Make sure that this area is unkillable. Something like that. And I don't think I can wait for 3-3. Three, three. Okay, let's deal with this attack wave and then give killing people a try. You know, first time for everything. These are definitely strong Protoss. <laughs> They're very good at what they do. You need something? It's not just Darim that is tall, but like the entire thing. The center as well. The bottom of the cup, everywhere. I don't know why I decided that it could be like a basketball hoop. That has a rim. couple more of those and I think it's time to go. I was considering waiting for 3-3 but a timeliness optimization algorithm says that I don't think I can do that. Just gonna take out this area. I'm not sure that I have the time required anyway. Oh my gosh. Yeah this is what the ultras are for. Doesn't matter. This is a good clear. We got a lot of stuff right here. We don't want to fight over there. Uh, we don't want to fight up here. I guess we do want to fight up here, just have it cleaned out so that we can start the event. Uh, maybe we have to start the event. Okay, if we do three, and then we try to kill the base right after, that could still be viable. We can use this time to build a Baneling Nest. And then we'll be able to morph a bunch of Banes for the final fight. This unit is good. It's also not mine, which is a little bit rough. Ultra Go Go. There's another one. More ultras. What are you doing? 26 seconds remaining. That's pretty good. Clean out that opposition. Okay, they're not dropping over here. We just have to be prepared for a shove, right? As Stukov is free. Oh, I can't morph any more Banelings. 
Because I have Swarmlings. That's my bad. Uh, swarmlings take one third of a supply, Banelings take one half of a supply. So I didn't leave any supply open. Could you... Could you cease your activities, sir? Do I have Overseers? Yeah, I have Overseers. Uh, let's go. I forgot the Corruptors. That's not good. It'll probably be fine. Banelings? Actually, this base is falling pretty easily. Definitely was built to be ki killed. Vanguards are pretty good. Let's see, the anti-air is dealt with. There is a Dark Templar over here. Can't kill it yet, but if you want to kill some Swarmlings until that pops out, that's fine with me. And we're taking out everything else over here. Target down the Nexus and grab the Hatchery. DT has been dealt with. Let's get another Spore. So they can't do that again. And then take all this down. Corruptor's still at insane hit point totals. They've basically not taken damage this entire time. We can start long distance mining on this side. I think I lost a lot of Aberrations. The Ultra Count is doing phenomenally. Do I have Creep Tumors over here? I do not. So I'm going to clear this out. Then I'm going to go, go up and try to kill up the next base. I think that that is the key here. I'm going to move that just a little bit in case there's DTs. Yeah, we can clear out this area. Good time to do so. Uh, bad time to do so. Attack wave is here. That's a carrier attack. We might have to get a fourth one of these first. Uh, kill the Colossus. Got it. back. That's still going down nicely. Where is Stukov? I need to make sure that he doesn't accidentally step on the point. Good. He's to the south. Hopefully he's the only thing going south. There's a 3-3-3 DT. A bunch of Zerglings over there. Good to know. Would have been useful information before. I don't like this. I give a save before I start the event and try it. But this doesn't feel good to me. Try to kill a hybrid with these. Didn't work too well. Cross blast. That is just so many guys. Surround him and take him out. Only nine kills. Operations on the way. There's just so many gateways on this map. Oh, he's dead. These like one HP vanguards that are coming from, you know, North Dakota or something. I'm not sure. Are completely getting me. guy's got no HP left. I need to clear these out. I need to do better. Let's see if we can salvage. DT and a scout. They really like sending one DT over there. So I'm just kind of paying attention to what's happening, trying to learn about how this works throughout my death. Because make no mistake, I am gone. However, what we are noting is that this base seems pretty safe. There's so many DTs. Oh, they killed my overseers. Oh my goodness. That's an attack. Did Stukov just spawn and then instantly get killed? 
attack sounds about right. It's actually not that bad of an attack because we have so many corruptors, which is a great call there. So let's load last... No, not the last checkpoint. That's going to load me into a... Where is it going to load me? Let's just... Let's just see. It might not be the end of the world. Yeah, it's too far in the past. That's five minutes. Let's see if we can take down the stuff on the low ground before starting the Stukov event. So that there's just less pressure coming. Also, those banelings were not the right choice. They did not do the damage they need, needed to. Oh, Zerglings are just not good here. I mean, they're so good until they're bad. Okay, target over here. Everything is going down. Ultra splash damage going up. Clear out all these structures. Go over here and take those down as well. Uh, grab some of this cash. And then we gotta get Stukov onto the point about right now. Because there's literally no more time. 30, 55. We'll take the 30 production time. The arc that they hit from is pretty crazy here. It might actually be better to take this one. Because we won't have to deal with as many directions that the enemy could come from. Seems about right to me. Uh, Vanguard again. Oh, Mass Tempest again. Yeah, I think I might have to give that a try. This is part of the attack wave of these guys. These hybrid behemoths are something, aren't they? That something is not good for me. What am I missing here? We really... There's not a whole lot of options due to that Dark Swarm. We could theoretically last the Dark Swarm out. It doesn't last forever. Maybe some Lurkers would just be helpful to get more surface area on the targets. I mean, I don't have a Hydralis done or ranged upgrades. So, well, how could it go wrong? Okay, we're going to swing down this time as we approach, and we're going to use this time to build the Hydra Den, turn it into a Lurker Hive. Goodbye, sweet Zerglings. We hardly knew ye. Actually, we know a little bit too much about ye recently, but sorry, guys. I know it hurts to be hit by those orbs. I'm going to save up for Hydras. I'm going to grab upgrade here. Kill this guy. Move that over. Kill some of the pre-placed defender. Where? Okay, my everything is split up. And then we just have to go at that point. Not really another choice. Get rid of this Protoss now. The hybrids are underway. Uh, I don't like the rally I have right here. I'm using corrosive blast to try to eat through the armor of this hybrid. It's uh, it's going all right. Slap that guy down. But I don't have more corrosive blast to eat through the armor of that hybrid. Oh gosh, these are not uh, lurker identified yet. Where's lurker down? Go, see if you can do something. We're gonna live. We have a mining base. We have a lot of hydras. Hydras are helping. Okay, let's 
go this way, and Hatch is dead. This is not possible. I can feel your strength leaving you. Those are no longer mining. And let's hope. I think I was overstating the effectiveness of those dudes. Because it does feel like the Hydras did help a lot. So Dark Swarm, maybe not as instrumental to the mission as I thought it would be. In my head, it was like, nah, we're not going to be able to do anything with our ranged units. They're just slightly worse. Lurkers are still very nice. Well, unless you're their enemy. And Lurker Hydra is a tale as old as time. I don't like the Vanguard. Speak free. I hear you. So, keep pushing over here. Corruptors take all that down. Hydras keep being produced. There we go. Get that last bonus objective. Do not touch the artifacts of the I think the lurkers can deal with all this. Uh, maybe. Whoa, oh, that is a, okay, we, the ultra might need its upgrades to be good. Maybe how this mission works. They're doing 44 now. That's a little bit better than before. Oh, my Hydras. I forgot about them. It's so hard to rally things. Because this area is... All these areas are just constantly being captured and recaptured. Do I have Corruptors anymore? Not a lot. out. Come on over. Lurker Corruptor is feeling pretty... Oh gosh, we just pulled people from that base, didn't we? Hmm. I guess we're starting it. That's really oh Many hi. This is our final battle. Yeah, it is. The only thing's gonna go how we ship. want it to. What? What? No! 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 <laughs> Crap! Oh, this is so bad. I think I have to restart. I think that Lurker Lurker Corruptor seems like a real good play here. Uh, these hybrid are intense and I spent way too much, way, way too much on Zerglings. Zergling is a absolutely, completely inviable unit here. <laughs> the, the Vanguard is too good. The hybrid is too good. Everything is too good. Automated extractors go. I think we need the 30% combat effectiveness boost here from Malignant Creep. Twin Drones, it's okay. It uh, speeds you up at the beginning, but it really is not holding its weight. And then I'm going to go for armor on those guys. Maybe Banelings at some point will be good. Increases base damage dealt to primary targets by 50%. Reduce armor by one and prevent cloaking. Last for 10 seconds. A couple of them might be helpful against the hybrid. I don't know. Probably we won't end up making them. And if we can get to that all the bonuses are done stage, then a flood of ultras seem like they'll be very good. But with 16 damage locked behind those bonuses, I need to figure out how to do them more quickly. That's really it. So we can head up over here. 
And I think that we're going to have a pretty good chance now that I've gotten a good look at what's happening. This is a hard mission. This is not easy. Yeah, looking at it, like, in this context, that Dark Swarm did not last that long. It's not, it's not like permanent or something. It's not like you hit 50% HP and just Dark Swarm for the rest of your life. Super, super overreacting on my part. So, we should be good this time. Let's see, I like this guy over here. Get one cre queen for the creep. And we are going to run Stukov this way. We're going to double Corrosive Blast this nerd. Because I don't like him. I hate your van. And I hope nobody guards it. Be quick about it. The null zone is pushing toward me. Speak freely. And take that down and head on over here. So let's go for the bonus. You know, we have these ultras. We know that it gives a pretty good, well, bonus at this point, so might as well make do with what we can get early on. Get that guy away. Get some of this gas. Hmm. Try not to lose these guys. Remember that Stukov does a pretty decent healing aura. It's not insane by any means. But it's alright. And it's totally worth trying to keep your forces alive to benefit from. They will heal up eventually. Like 30 seconds or so. Ultras not nearly as quickly as other things because it's not like it's percentage based or anything. Which is a bit weird now that I think of it on this mission. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? from like a base heart of the swarm perspective obviously not from a nightmare perspective because they'd be way too good but it's not like heart of the swarm was ever against making things op hold off on upgrades for a bit uh creep is doing a lot better i love malignant creep it's just great it's like legacy of the void creep versus wings of liberty creep spread speed and we all know that Wings Liberty Creep is super persistent and annoying, but if you want to actually spread the stuff, then you gotta go. You gotta go Legacy of the Void Speeds. I don't know why I'm, like, advising you. <laughs> you gotta do this one, man. Trust me, it's great. I know you were thinking about Wings for your Creep Speed, but believe me, it's terrible. Okay, let's get a Hydrogen up We can start getting a couple gases Keep clearing Take all that down And just make sure that we don't accidentally touch the point with Stukov I would like to clear this area before we start the event as well Still droning up quite a bit So I have some time Oh, yeah, no, that's a Vanguard no. We don't deal with your kind here. We run in fear from them. <laughs> when I say we don't deal with them, I mean we don't deal with them very well. <laughs> Please leave. <laughs> so, Evo, Evo. I'm just gonna wait a little bit. Oh, hello. I still haven't lost anything, really. And we have more than enough time. We did confirm the way that this mission works on Nightmare is the same as it works on Brutal in terms of when you hit the point, the channeling stops. That was a question that I had at the very beginning that I don't know if I said or not, but I wasn't sure. Uh, okay, Evo Chamber needs to finish. That there. That here. Just gonna make sure that area is nice and fortified. We can look at this. Got it. Just be very careful in these early stages. Some 
like that seems good. And keep Patrick the Ultralisk alive. I think that Corruptors are still going to be very nice. I'm just not getting the Spire for a while. Because the air units didn't appear for quite some time. So the idea here is that the Ultralisks are going to be able to tank the hybrid as we deal with them with the Hydras. You know, more differentiated roles. It's alright. I see the drop coming. But we have stuff already. Uh, do I have Hydras on the way? Yeah, okay, here they are. Need to get some of these. And we are going to chill until it's like uncomfortably close. There we go. <laughs> Drop dead. Uh, ultras are going to finish at some point, I promise. Not Ultras, uh, Overlords. <laughs> Same thing, the big guys. Speak freely. Get the Lurkers out of the control group. The areas are going to be harder to attack. That is one thing to keep in mind when we're going for this lurker based strat. I am channeling psionic energy into this temple, but it will take time. You dare defile the Drop double spires. We shall strike you down. I must focus. Who's that guy? I can still use my powers for the fight. So where oh where? is the big hybrid. We need to see how the first fight against him goes. These do 30. Uh-oh. Uh, hey! Accidental lurkers, go! Ow. Could you stop? It's not a fast kill, is it? This guy over here. Bro. One, two, three, four. Hey, we bought some time. But everything you buy has a price. I can feel the root strike slipping. Success, but only for a moment. We must disable the other temples. Hmm. I have a lot of minerals now, which is not surprising. You need something? You defile holy ground. Everybody up. These are mutas coming. Forward. See, like, I'm like, yeah, I go build Zerglings, but really, can I? Can I? Okay, the, the real answer is I could build spines. Spines might actually be pretty good. It's going to be so hard to push. <laughs> My strategies are just not built for pushing. But you know what? The what? What's the worst that could happen? Is that an attack wave? Not for long. There we go. Pull him back. Oh, you don't have your observer anymore. Where'd it go? Tough life. Tougher death. Mm. Uh, queen going over here. Lurkers heading to clear. I'm not really getting anything done during this section. Just defending a little bit and realizing that I should just go over here and do my thing. Okay, I got the corruptors. I'm going to use them to take this out. And then start the event. And bring our friends to help. This might actually be good, because the enemy is... The hybrid are kind of spread out. I don't think they're going to be super great. Yeah, I actually think this is going to work out nicely. These have a lot of HP, so they can soak for a long time. They're basically ultras. <laughs> Not at all, Ultras. 
Anything that's in melee, hopefully just get shredded here. Yeah, pull back. Let the lurkers do their work. And here comes another one. Let's try to close this area off. Yeah, so he has to fight. Oh, where is it going? I'm not trying to cheese it. I guess I have to open it up. Uh, something's going on with the targeting algorithm there. Alright, let's macro. I got very distracted trying to figure out what was going on there, and... I got a lot of money to work with. Figure out how to push. This, I guess the Zerglings can help in a pushing environment. You will not escape your fate. Is this where they start sending the guys one by one? Hurrah! Yeah, that's a big attack wave. You're going to sit at the top of this ramp, and we're going to remove it from existence. The history books will never mention this attack wave. The destroyers are now the destroyed. Uh, it's still not going great. We got a couple more corruptors and then going back into hydro production. Let's see what we can do. Oh, do I have a queen? Probably somewhere. I have no idea. It's hard to keep track of everything. But they killed... They killed my stuff. These over here. Well, this over here. There's just so many attack alerts. Oh, where is my creep? I can't spread my creep right now. This is bad. Kind of built on the idea of being able to creep forward. Lurkers don't need it. They just would prefer it. I definitely messed this up. Losing that queen and not having a backup was... I don't want to say game over because I'm not dead yet. But it's definitely hurting. Spines are useless. These guys are obnoxious. We still have quite some time to go. Nope. Oh, that might just have killed me. Hmm. Okay, this is all dealt with. We got creep tumors. Let's get multiple queens to help out. We have these ranged upgrades anyway. Uh, you guys can just be as part of the attack force. Real question is, how do we open this area up for Stukov before Stukov gets back? Do we just charge in? Doesn't feel like a good solution. But we're not going to have a whole lot of time for our boy. Creep goes up. Creep goes up. Stukov goes on. Finish all this stuff off. Bunch of Zerglings just because they cost minerals. Why do I have a bunch of stuff that's just idling over here? Like having a bunch of issues with my rallies in this mission. Which I'm not sure what I'm doing. Perfect. On time as always, Stukov. Finish the Taldarim. Several hybrids are on their way. Oh gosh, we still don't have a great answer to that unit, do we? Luckily, it is pretty vulnerable. Send the Zerglings in to soak. Comes another one. Oh gosh, I just burrowed everything instead of unburrowing my workers. 
All we have to do is live through the Dark Swarm. And it works out fine. You guys are doing great. Let's keep getting upgrades for them. You guys are stuck. You guys are stuck. Creep Tumor going that way, and Stukov is good to go. Now, I can't really push, which means that I can't really attack and grab that extra base. So instead, I'm just going to have to not lose my stuff. Seems easy enough. We'll use you guys as Spine Creep. No, no, no! I don't like that guy. He's very rude. Where's Stukov? <gasps> Everything everywhere. Target it down. And target it down. Tumor's going. I think we have to burrow right here. I don't like this position. There's an attack coming from the side. Kill the carriers. This base is all right. Lurkers have owned me. Or not the lurkers, the Archons. Oh, it's just so hard to follow these. Do I just want to start this one now? I mean, no. I objectively don't want to. Do I feel like I have to start this one right now? Yeah. DT. A uh, couple more of these. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Move this over here, get Stukov onto the point. Why is my spine going that way? No! Brothers, guard the temple with your lives. Get rid of this That is Sion Corp. And this seems to be an attack wave at the same time, maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe it's not. Fortunately, these guys are right on top of the lurkers. How long does that last? Far too long. Y'all, yeah, lurkers are dead. I'm dead once again. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. 3,000 HP, 5 armor, 54 damage with splash. This is just a lot of stuff, isn't it? What about just, like, Ultra Queen Hydra? What if the Corruptors are too much? They take a lot of upgrades. They're not very good. Oh, we have to restart again. I feel like just you have to n figure out what the composition is for this one. It's absolutely a puzzle, right? It is how how does kill Yeah, that. How does kill? We can at least load from here so we have our base. I don't think that I need to change anything else up, but ground does feel like it's going to be better than air here. So Stukov is going to come and double shot this nerd. We'll take the base ASAPly. Got our income going. I like the creep spread we had. Man, this is a hard one. Just trying to figure out exactly how I want to approach things is way harder than anything else. A lot of the other missions from like a technical perspective have been very difficult, but this one is a literal, I don't know what units to make sort of thing. Like when we did Old Soldiers, it was very clear that I would eventually figure out how to do the Swarm House. I just needed to learn. But with this one, I don't know if I'm doing it right. I could absolutely not be. There's complete other worlds we could be going through here. I hear you. Part of me... Keep your mind clear. 
Part of me says that we completely ignore the ground and just go mutilisk. Life would be real tough against some stuff. We have the Corruptor Morph for the big capital ships. All right, let's try it. Nah, I need gas efficiency for mutas, don't I? And I don't want to restart again. We're going to try with Hydra. You know what? No. We, uh, we're only three minutes into it. Let's go auto gas. Muta upgrades. Evolution pit. Here we go. So what are our options here? Vicious Glaive, Regeneration. We're going to get Vicious Glaive. And then we're going to get the Kerrigan upgrade for Vespine efficiency. And I think that's it. And then we can just day move through this again. <laughs> being able to... Being able to contest the guys in the air might be good. Don't know. Do not. Look at some vipers too, of course. Because vipers are great, and they morph from mutas. I just, I could not afford them in my previous things. Because just a couple of them, I didn't feel were going to be too good. I couldn't... I, there was just a lot going on. I should have had some. I would have preferred to have had some. But sometimes video game is hard and you can't do everything at once. And I was already microing on a bunch of different sides. So. We're not going to have great creep spread this time, which is unfortunate. Okay, we're basically at the same spot again. Getting the gas geysers very early this time. Basically, my thought process here is twofold. One, I didn't see any Wrathwalkers. I thought there was going to be a higher Wrathwalker count when I got into this. None. Absolutely zero. So, we're not going to lose our mutas in one shot to those. And then the second thing that I was thinking of was just the fact that those vanguards... They exist. They're... They're... <laughs> this is the nerfed co-op version, I believe, and they're still just too good, man. They're so strong. You can't make anything against them. They are universe-destroying threats. And I, unfortunately, am even weaker than universe. I don't know why I phrase that as if universes are really weak. Uh, as, as far as we know, they are the strongest thing. But... Except for the Vanguard, of course. But yeah, I'm, I'm not even a match for one. You need something? Let's uh, take these down. I don't, I don't like it when he builds these bases around. So the main thing I'm scared of with Muta Play is my inability to actually contain their expansionist desires. They're just going to be expanding everywhere, and it's going to be such a pain to try to deal with it. Hey, we won that fight. Nice. Being very stingy with minerals at the beginning, because we can always get more of those as time goes on. We're going to have a mineral glut, so we might as well have a glass, glass gut. Uh, gas glut at the beginning. Friends. I would like to be able to keep these creep tumors alive that are going up this way because they always get cleared out by that first attack. You need something? Our are under okay, workers. I'll start getting 1-1 one, one at the same time. It's just easier to manage that way. I don't have the 30% increased attack speed, so my clearing is going to be a it worse, but I do think that I can clear out this and this area with my initial troops, kind of like I did last time. Just try to make a whole lot of value off of my early game stuff. And don't touch the point. I don't have any money for 1-1 one, one yet. Ah, you know what I do have money for? Greater Spire. That way I can get those Vipers up. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Let's, uh, let's get the bonus. 
I wonder if the correct play is to actually rush for all three bonuses ASAP. Probably not. The amount of stuff that they warped in in that last bonus was really scary, wasn't it? So I doubt that we'd be able to kill it really easily. It's only got 750 HP. Oh, hi. It's just, uh... Ignore the fact that that's happening for a bit. <laughs> yeah, no! Oh, we almost had him. Oh, our friend was almost safe. Speak freely. Move quickly. Alright, that's been dealt with. Creepy creep. I'm gonna try putting the creep on the right hand side to see if they just don't see the tumors. <laughs> Probably not going to work out, you need but it is worth a try, and I need to start making mutas very soon. By that, I mean I'm supply blocked. I'm going to just go up this way. Why not? Try to knock down a couple buildings over here. They always were giving me trouble in the later stages, so we'll give them some trouble first. I'm concerned. I lost this Ultra, and I might just be dead without him. He was he was a big part of my play style. Now the other Ultra is taking a lot of extra damage. Let's try to keep these infested Terran in the front. Oh, he can, he can just not path that way, huh? That looks like more than enough room, but okay. This down. They're at this area. Oh, they're sending a lot. Aren't they? Yeah, they are. Stukov, start heading on over there, my friend. Take these out, and we are actually running low on a friendly neighborhood, Barva. Right, down, around. I am channeling psionic energy into this temple. I did not time. deal with this. You dare defile the shrines of our god? We shall strike you down. Am I getting a hatch over here? I Good. must focus. But I can still oh gosh. Uh, that's a lot of zealots, huh? I didn't quite notice how many of them there were. At this point, I'm just making a lot of swarmlings to have anything over here. And that's an attack wave, isn't it? Oh, he does area damage to the air. Nope. That's not going to work. All right. Hmm. I don't think I'm getting around Ultralisk life. I'm kind of feeling like Ultras are just required here. And there's no other option. Not sure what else I could possibly do. The Aberration is pretty okay. Uh, Vipers will be nice. Maybe Queens to keep healing the Ultras as time goes on, but... Yeah, this is a very hard one. Uh, I need Malignant Creep if I'm going to do that, which means that I can load from here? I think? Yeah. That'll go back to a Malignant Creep save. I'm getting better at this opening. You know, why don't, if we can clear out that base, maybe we don't clear out the area with the objective after that. We just clear up that top outpost. I kind of like that idea. I hear you. Keep your mind clear. I'll give that a shot. No just try to optimize this. Because I'm very much so considering the rush all the bonus objectives for the ultra strat right now. Be quick about it. The null zone is pushing toward me. Queen go. 
We're going to be very immobile during this mission. The creep is going to help, but it's not going to alleviate that issue by any means. I think that, though, going Mass Ultra is going to be pretty darn good. Oh, gosh. Forgot about those. Save that guy. Head on back. Yeah, we're going to try Ultra Queen. I don't even know if we need other units. Anything else is for cowards. Those who don't believe. Alright, target that down. Outpost dealt with. A little bit of money is pretty nice here. Try not to agitate the pre-placed defenders because they just get replaced. There we go. That seems good. And then there's a bonus over here. Can we take it with what we have? I'm going to throw down a save, and we're just going to learn. Try to kill the destroyers. Be very careful about not hitting the crystal until I'm ready. So one thing I noticed is that we have enough energy for double corrosive blast in very quick succession. So I'm thinking about what I want to do here, and maybe in order to kill the crystal effective... Oh my gosh. Just building the wall. To kill the crystal effectively... Um, maybe just swarmlings. I'm not even sure. You need something? I just need damage. I want to target it down and then get out. Instead of having to deal with the warp. Oh, hello. Thank you for repopulating this area. You noticed that the guys were gone. They went on lunch break and took it upon yourself to come and help. Thank you. Thank you. You're great. Target it down. Leave the Zerglings. Oh, Harold. No. Hey, he's fine. Try to get the next one. Basically saturated over there. Harold is doing well. He's not doing well, but he'll he'll be okay. Getting the care that he needs. And now, and now we have this to contend with. Because I didn't go this way. Oh no. I might have to reload again and... Just creep that area first. One creep tumor. Stops all this. The low, low price of one creep tumor per month. This base can be mine. That is a very annoying position. It's almost as if they expect me to be going Ultralisks and built defenses accordingly. How dare you, Nightmare Difficulty. Just slowly and steadily. They <laughs> have so many guys coming over here. So let me think. We're gonna have to uh, gonna have to restart, I think. So what do I want to What do I want to do to approach this? I think the obvious answer is move over here, clear it out, creep it up, move up here, take that down. We've learned that the Stukov and Zergling strap pretty darn good. And then how do we want to kill that one? Bane links? I can morph a bunch of jumpy banes to go target that one down real quick. Ooh. 
I like that. There's not a whole lot over there. Okay. Okay, okay. End game. Uh, no, load game. Of course, this one is it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. This is going to work. We're going to get these real good ultras very quick. We can use those to take down the early hybrid without a huge amount of pain. And then we're going to be we're going to be safe. We're going to be happy. We're going to have no problems in life. We're going to win the lottery. Speak freely. Move quickly. Oh, it's too cough. No, it's too early for you. The first temple is located here. Now. Well, that was a that was a start. One thing I'm noting is that I don't really like uh, it's so cheap to get those Vespian geysers but at the same time it's hard to utilize the gas in the early stages I creep tumors down move over here and just secure this area keep it for me oh I didn't build a hatch because I don't have money that's a good reason why here we go Hatch ahoy. And then let's go right here. Nope. Oh, guess we're guess we're pulling. Yes, that energy is faint. Eden near the temples. If time permits, you will find them and destroy them. Take all this down. And get the ultimate creep tumor of defense. He will keep me safe. For many, many millennia. I, hear you. I don't think that the Baneling is actually the worst idea for later stuff. If I can get a bunch of money, like the very final attack wave, probably much easier with Baneling. They're good. Very, very good. It's just, uh, I went them too early before. And they're not good against the hybrid. But against the hybrid's escorts, his friends, that kind of stuff? Yeah, sure, why not? Trying to be more careful about the stuff that's over there. Keep the creep flowing. I like moving over here because it does give me that money to work with. 200 minerals is not nothing in this stage of the game. I am constantly mineral broke. Okay, everybody needs to target this down. Then we bring some of the zerglings in. We don't need too many of them, but we do need a couple. And we can use this time to build another hatch. We can use this time to thank the enemy for rebuilding this area. And... I don't have enough energy. It's a hundred energy for that ability. I just don't have many workers still. Maybe Baneling's here as well. I don't have Baneling Nest either. I don't have Evo Chambers. I don't have anything. I think I want the Ultras to go home. Use these guys. These guys. Ah, there. Oh, well. If someone has to die, it's going to be Mr. Hydra. Or my Ultras. Oh, I sent them too far away, huh? Oh, well, that's game over. Cool. <laughs> okay, so I need to be faster with my moving up here. Oh, this is a lot of stuff. It is super tight, this opening. Just everything has to be done, 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 done in very specific order. Or, actually, okay, I have another idea. What if I don't go to the left first, and instead I go to the bonus objective up there? It's actually not that far away from what I was doing, 
The first temple is located here. That's not a bad idea. Now, let's go destroy it. That way, everything that I'm doing will kind of be in the same the general area, me. which would be very powerful, very helpful. And then I can do this one with some bailings later. Should be easy to make them. I love it when they split the damage like that. That is perfect. I'm going to try to get a third hatch very fast this time. Basically, I'm going to make drones. I'm not going to do anything else until I have 300 more minerals and can afford a hatch. I'm skimping on the queen, which means that my creep spread is going to be worse in the early stages. But it feels like I just I have to pick and choose the things that I'm willing to sacrifice here. And I don't like that that has to be one of them. But it is. There's so many things to do. I'm also trying to retain Stukov's energy a little bit better. We go on to fire it on these important targets and make sure that it's always regenerating, but we don't want to be low. I sense crystals, which Nerud is using to store raw psionic energy. All right, this is going to be hatch number two. Yes, that energy is faint, hidden near the temples. If time permits, so one thing that's worth remembering, there's going to be a big attack. And then we are going to have to take the temple. Not a big attack, but there's going to be that attack against my home that goes against here. And that seems to be right before it is time to time to do the first temple. So that can be my little indicator. I won't have to feel threatened to go before that point. I just lost my creep tumor because these stalkers are bullies. Bad people, actually. I know, they're Taldorim. It's shocking. Usually Taldorim are such upstanding citizens. Okay, first queen, go. We do actually need those. Uh, <laughs> we need those tumors. I like the triple hatch. It's making up for the fact that I'm missing brain cells. Uh, What am I missing? That I'm missing double drones because the first time I played this I had double drones so my saturation went real quick I thought that saturation quick would be helpful on this one it's just tough to balance with everything else you're gonna have a lot of work ahead of you Miss Queen a lot of this stuff is gonna be all you you're gonna have to heal everybody you're gonna have to creep everything let's go you know what let's not get upgrades yet Get a bailing nest. Keep that going. This area is clear. It's got some swarmlings. Here's the annoying attack. Oh, look, we just happen to be in position. How fortunate. Uh, probably need a couple more workers. Uh, overlords. A couple more overlords. And then we're gonna get dropped soon, so let's just be prepared. Where are those overlords? There they are. Might be over-making banelings at this point in the game, but I think that for the bonus objective, it's probably worth it. Get a gas. Get a gas. Get oh, there's a lot of gas up here. Uh, we got bouncies. Oh, that's the wrong pylon. All right, that is a that is a better than I thought defended pylon. Uh, if I was just split a little to the side and knew that they had force fields, definitely doable. Not a good feeling though. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right up here. We're going to lose them. I want to run them that way and then in. And then some of them are going to go this way and then in. The null zone is closing in on our queen. Oh, wait, what? They're being destroyed in midair. Oh. You can't, you can't do that normally against those. They usually always connect with their target. Oh. 
These are not as good as not as good as they used to be. Hmm. I might be dead here. I greatly overestimated the quality of the Hunter Baneling, and I built a lot of them. Not understanding exactly how they worked. Got a lot of ultras on the way. I don't even think it's that bad. I just, uh... I thought they'd, by default, be able to connect with their target as soon as they started jumping. Because that's how it usually works. And the hard point... The hard part is to get that initial jump going. God, he hits so hard! <laughs> These guys are insanity! 52 damage. Okay. Let's just start getting these upgrades. Got it. Big attack wave. What works, Dukov? I can feel the root strike slipping. Success, but only for a moment. We must disable the other temple. This is an awkward fight. It's actually a pretty good one. The enemy got very split up in a way that is beneficial. Our victory is assured. I'll take it. This is saturated. This is mostly fine. Uh, I was supposed to get another one of these. Keep your mind clear. Mm. Let's uh, keep the map clear, just like my mind. Go, go. I'm very afraid of Vanguard. I'm gonna just try it. There we go. We got him. Go Queens. Take all this down. I mean, this looks good. From this position, I feel pretty okay. It's just... Continuing on from here... Is always so tough. Do I want to start the event? Well, at least get a creep tumor over here. It's fine. That'll be finished off. It's just some temporary mining reduction. I mine out that base anyway, so it doesn't matter. I think my goal here is to get this base much earlier. So I'm going to go right over here. Uh, I feel like there's another attack wave that I'm going to have to defend at some point, and then I want to very aggressively, before I clear out this or this or that or anything, I just want to kill that base and get the money. That's the only way that I can probably make up for losing all those Bane lines. Trying to sneak the creep around. Hopefully nobody notices. One, two, three, four, five... And then a safety spore. We haven't been hit by any DTs in that area yet, which means that it's going to happen someday. They sure like dropping, don't they? Here we go. This is an attack. I don't know why I said it that way. Of course it's an attack. Do they have detection? Yeah, they do. Okay. Try to get on top of them. Do everything we can. Heal up and start this event. Speak freely. None may challenge the master. We're gonna start warping in. The, the thing that's worth mentioning here is my anti-air is kinda garbo. So if they start hitting with the capital ship energy, I'm gonna die. Even that's pretty rough. Oh, he's sliding through. It's uh one more right there. Oh, here's his brother. Let's 
So this is a 175 supply army that has held against things pretty darn well. Let's go. He says tentatively. This is gonna be easy, he says, lying through his teeth. Ah, crap, he says honestly, Tempests! Wish I had my corruptors. Well, this is bad timing. Queen's over. Yeah, the Tempests just attack the Immortals. That's good. Not the Immortals, the Ultras. That's good. Because the Queens get shredded. Uh, supply is doing all right. Genuinely doing quite well. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, who are you? Who are you? No. That's not good. Queen's bro for a sec. I don't have detection here. Oh, I thought I built... Uh, I think I built it last time. The detection. Oh, they're mad. They hate banelings. We have no way to uh, force detection. I guess we're just going in for now. Ooh, we're getting roasted. Come on, where... Why are those overseers? Here we go. DT's down. Resist the urge to build ultras. Or rather, to build anything besides ultras. Uh, getting destroyed. We don't have a whole lot of time here, though. I got uh, distracted by that attack wave that hit my base, and then I had to go over here, and the DTs slowed me down because I didn't think to bring an Overseer because I thought I had morphed one, and that means that getting over to this next point is going to be really, really hard. Uh, can they continue to build? Yeah, they can. Target that. Target that. Turn their production offline and try to bull rush. Take everything we have and just go. She hasn't gone, Stokov, you gotta get your guy on the point. Escort the payload, Stukov. Oh, that didn't start. Also, one thing worth noting, way too much gas. All right, we're starting it. We're not ready to start it, but we are. Not the finished Taldarim. They're even stronger than normal. That moment when Cyril starts playing Protoss. Oh. I think I just lost a lot of workers. No, I didn't send that many. These guys to help. Oh, they've got a very nice wall over there. Good for you. Alright, get mining. Nice. <laughs> That's the best thing I've seen all day. Did you do it, Stukov? Cool. I have to deal with that second base now, I think. The enemies are just too good. I have Overseer. Yeah. One. It's probably healthy. The hive. Destroy the hive. Under attack. 
some destroyers. Here comes the attack wave. Get better ultra upgrades. It's going to make the fights better. Oh, no, that was part of the attack wave, and the other half is going right to murder me. Oh, it was a Dark Templar. That's fine. They weren't really mining anyway. For very specific values of the word fine. We're mining. It's all right. Just opening up supply. We're just opening up a new slot for hero units to be recruited. All right, being out of position for that attack wave was deadly. I would, I would be in a very good position were it not for that. I don't know if very good is the correct word. I'd be mining a little bit more. I'd have more workers. I'd have Stukov. And I'd probably have a lot more progress. I'm going to try to get to that. I can't get to that bonus right now. Yeah, I'd be able to get the bonus if it weren't for the fact that I lost. Or that I was out of position. So if I lose, I'm going to try to reload the most recent save and see what I can do with that. That's another attack wave. This base is insane. I don't think I can kill these Tempests. Not off creep. We're gonna do our best, but we're down to, yeah, this is over. 2151. Let's pull back. So that should be right after we secured the third one. Right after it. He's growing weaker. Keep fighting. So we don't do the bonus. We realize this is a Dark Templar. There's so many observers just everywhere. <laughs> That's fine. Let's get four more guys over here. Our victory is assured. I am still feeling very apprehensive about my lack of anti-air. Can't really get corruptors with zero zero though. They won't be good. Oh, another one. Oh god. Try to kill the interceptors. We dealt with everything over there. If they're going to carry the Ultras, that is fantastic. There we go. We can take all this down. Are you serious? Another one? All right. I can't really afford to defend that. It gives me some money, but not a whole lot. I don't have 3-3 three, three yet, which is problematic. Because the enemy sure does. Oh, I don't have 3-3 three, three started. I have it for melee going, and that's it. The Ultra is such a clunky unit. I didn't start creep going this way. I think we have to start this, but I think that that big Tempest wave is coming soon. And I think that without creep, I am not going to be able to hold this. Yeah, we have no mobility here. We're going to have no Ultras very soon. It looks like the Tempests are specifically targeting down my anti-air. This is so hard. I don't know what I'm supposed to make. Like, I can fight the Protoss, but I can't fight those hybrid. 
And so I have to morph my composition into Ultra. It feels like Ultra is the only viable option here. And I'm not able to fight a Protoss with the Ultras. Hmm. What do I do? It just, this feels awful. It really, really feels bad. I'm not sure what to make. I don't... Mm. I don't know. Maybe I use what I have right now and then go corrupt, but I'm losing all my ultras. If I go corruptors right now, I'm dead. I don't know what to do. He's growing weaker. Keep fighting. No. No. So just bring this down. Deal with the attack wave. To the best of our ability. Come on over. I'm gonna leave an ultra here for now. Hmm. Here it comes. Wait, where'd the ultra... Ah, thought I left an ultra over there. I guess I didn't remove him from the control group properly. Let's try to get interceptors targeting ultras as the queens mow through them. Take as little damage as we can from this. Then move forward and keep spreading the creep. Get 3-3. Three, three. We're going to need these upgrades if we want to win. Clear out this area, and then we have to clear this out before the big attack comes. I kind of like how this fight went. I'm going to give it a quick save. I'm feeling okay here. I'm focusing on queen production for now. So I can keep these ultras alive a little bit better. Keep the creep spread going. I'm doing a very bad job at this creep. I'm getting fatigued. It's been two hours, and I am I'm just tired. Go over. Send that out. Target him down. What? Oh, gosh. I was trying to wait for that Tempest Wave, and the Tempest Wave just, uh... It no-showed today. In my head, it was you wait for the Tempest Wave, and then you... And then you do Kerrigan. Is the Tempest Wave part of the Kerrigan event? Have I always been triggering it, and that's what's been happening? That might be a mistake on my part. I may have just not noticed that I was triggering the event every time, and then they were coming. My bad. So this time we have to go and trigger that event to start everything. I have to kill these Colossus. I cannot move very well. I don't want to clear over there. Please no. Please no. Give it a try. Get rid of this Protoss now. The hybrids are underway. Everything back. Here's the first hybrid.
how the hell are you supposed to beat this? <laughs> These guys are so strong. This is insane. I was near maxed. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I obviously just don't understand something here. I don't know what's happening. I don't know how to beat this many hybrid. They're so powerful. And like, when all that's coming with it too, that's not doable. I don't think that's part of the defense wave. I think that's an attack wave on top of things, but I can't... I can't not fight it, right? Or rather, the only chance that I have to not fight it is if I aggressively force my way up here with Stukov and start the event now? I think that's what I have to do. And then we just have to hope. It's a hope-based strategy. So once again, we started at about max. Mass Ultra. Close to 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Pull back. Target this guy down. We don't have any energy. I just fired a glob at that guy and he did barely took any damage. Oh, because it's a ranged attack and it was under Dark Swarm. I mean, that big attack didn't even hit me this time. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Um... I can't make... Okay, let's just go through my units and look at them to figure out what is actually viable here. The Zergling is not a viable unit against the Hybrid. Deactivated a third temple. Two temples remain. The Aberration is pretty okay. Keep Maybe I need to be making them. The Roach doesn't no. do anything against Heroic, right? It ha it's That ability doesn't work against heroic units, so no reason in thinking about that. The Hydralisk does reduce damage. The Infester is not going to do anything because it spawns ranged guys. The Ultra is what I'm building. The Swarm Host spawns ranged guys, and the Mutalisk just gets absolutely curb stomped. And that is every unit I have. So I think that my only thing that I can really add here is potentially aberrations. I think that's got to be it. Maybe try to get 3-3 a bit earlier. I'm going to try to take this fight a little bit better. Take this all down. Burrow, burrow. Save this base. You go right here. Got the queens. Now we're going to get the aberrations. We have a little over a minute before we die, right? I think it's 2540 is the death point. So aberrations it is. Someone to slap these hybrid down. Our 
Oh, I don't, I don't like that rally. We need you to not be in the combat control group because you're just spawning units in a bad place. Wasn't enough to make up what was happening last time, but something. Okay, I have about 10 seconds to get Stukov onto the point before the game ends. So we just have to start it. Hmm. I'm going to have to crowdsource ideas. I do not know what to do here. This feels insanely hard. I'm not accepting any nerfs from Rhyme. I'm going to beat this version of this mission. I can't do it right now, though. I am, I'm so tired. I've been working all day. Uh, and it is just... Yeah, I started working at 2 p.m. today. It is currently 12.35 a.m. And I'm just too tired to be doing this. I'm going to put this VOD up and it's not going to be complete. I'm going to look at ideas. We're going to discuss things and try to come back tomorrow with something. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Pain, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.